you're watching the first Star Rundown, where, in this case, we bring all of North America home on a budget. Just as there are 50 ways to leave your lover, there can also be 50 ways to leave your wanderlust behind. Except, the folks at National Geographic didn't just settle on 50 ways. Instead, writer Joe Yogas came up with a list of 5,000 ways to leave your wanderlust behind. Today, we'll be highlighting a few of them in five of the 50 American states that make up this one-of-a-kind, intensely colorful, handy-dandy travelogue that isn't just limited to America. This also features 10 Canadian provinces, which really makes this a unique North American travelogue that I picked up for 25% off the price of $2.99. 50 states, 5,000 ideas on where and when to go and what to see and do. So without further ado, let's get underway by highlighting the spiritual heart of TSR, California, the Golden State, which shines in many ways. From the splendor of the Redwoods and the High Sierra, to Hollywood's movie magic, which really is the core mission of TSR, to bring a touch of that movie magic, to bring Hollywood home on a budget. And the high-tech wonders of the Silicon Valley, what applicable. It's also America's most populous state. And I find that amusing, because even though Texas is the biggest state in the Union, California is the most populous, 38 million Californians. Oh well, that is just one of many amusing factoids and interesting historical facts that you'll find in these sidebars here, which in summary all come together to help make planning your next getaway, whether it be a vacation or a permanent move, a bit more easier. And they vary from state to state. Like for instance, in California, we have State of the Art, which really comes naturally. Best movie, Citizen Kane in Chinatown, that's two of thousands of thousands of natural picks that you can name off the top of your head in California, the movie capital of the world. We also have best books, songs, art, and plays, and sometimes best TV shows. For California, we also have a list of the best festivals, little known historical facts about California, and really the one constant Sidebar here that begins each and every chapter on each and every state in here, including the 10 Canadian provinces, is this. Tourism information. Visitor centers that you should be aware of to help make your getaway a little more easier to plan. Now we move on a few pages over to highlight Connecticut. Oh, but before we do... My second favorite sidebar here, local flavor, the best dining destinations. So, for these helpful sidebars here, if you want to list of the best dining destinations, best parks, best beaches, best museums, uh, best concert halls, you name it in terms of recreation, you'll find it in these sidebars. This is Connecticut, one third of the tri-state area. The other two thirds being uh, New York and, of course, my home state of New Jersey. That's what TSR does all of its business. For State of the Art in Connecticut, we have the best movies, Mystic Pizza and The Swimmer. And for best TV shows, Gilmore Girls, and the sixth season of I Love Lucy. By the way, if I ever visit Connecticut, somebody please, I beg you, hook me up with Lorelei. And why? Because Lauren Graham is hot in a very classy way. <laughs> This is my home state, New Jersey. Well, we may not have a lot of gardens in the garden state, but hey, if you wander a little bit off the state's main drag, we'll surprise you with our medley of woodlands and beaches, lovely historic sites, and surprising modern wonders. And of course, our place in Hollywood history too, with Atlantic City and the Station Agent, and the Sopranos and Boardwalk Empire. Needless to say, I'm a proud Jersey boy. I always have been. I mean, I was born and raised here. Specifically, I was born and raised in Barnett Hospital in Patterson, New Jersey, but that's another story for another day, and it's way less interesting than the stories that this book tells. This is Pennsylvania, one of only two states that stretches between the Atlantic Coast and the Great Lakes. So in regards to local flavor, well, of course, Hershey's chocolate is right at the top of the list. Philly cheesesteaks should be second place. I mean, Scrapple should be fourth place among the four dining destinations highlighted in local flavor because really, not a lot of people like Scrapple very much. I haven't tried Scrapple, but I think it sounds, well, 
weird. I mean, nobody can really identify the leftover meat that makes scrapple. And by the way, I don't really eat red meat, period. As of yet, so... Can I have a chicken filly cheesesteak, please? Thanks. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh... While highlighting New Jersey, I wanted to turn a couple pages here to show you one more state. New York. Of course, this has a special place in my heart, and David's heart as well. My best CJ Romero of the Romero Roundup has been to New York many, many times. And there's no mystery why. The Empire State nuts us two very different worlds. The renaissance rust belt cities, rife wilderness, and rustic landscapes of upstate New York. And the effusive, non-stop energy of New York City. Of course, this is one of their landmarks, my all-time favorite, Times Square. We have here some local flavor, of course, New York City is the birthplace of Buffalo Wings. Specifically, the Anchor Bar and Grill was the birthplace of Buffalo Wings. They also have Thin Crust Pizza. They also are the originators of Cheesesteak and Half Moon Cookies. Surprisingly, there's no state-of-the-art section for New York. I mean, you can name some of the best movies and TV shows that took place in New York City right off of the top of your head. For TV shows, that would be Sex in the City and, of course, well, Friends. Oh, well. As I said, they vary from state to state, these little sidebars here. But other than that, I mean, including Canada, from Arizona to Wyoming, which is the closest I can get to saying anything from A to Z in terms of the 50 states here in America. This is definitely one one-of-a-kind travelogue that no travel lover should be without. It's incredibly colorful in terms of the photographs from the National Geographic Archives and other resources highlighting the diverse regions in various scenic picturesque ways that really Get your gander up for this book a great deal, as it's doing mine. Get out there and start exploring this delightful and comprehensive book. Here you'll find thousands of ideas to get you started planning your own cross-country odyssey to all 50 states and the provinces of Canada. Must-see destinations in every state of Canadian province. More than 250 exciting full-color photos of places you won't want to miss, for both famous and off-the-beaten track. Practical information on visitor centers and tourism offices in every state and province, and fun facts and highlights on everything including the best road trips, best festivals, and best local flavors the states have to offer. This retails for $24.95 in the US and $32.49 in Canada, and it's not the only book of National Geographic I have my eye on. They also have Great American Eating Experiences. Oh yeah. If this book is any indication of that book's coolness, if I see it at the thrift store, you'll see it here on TSR. But for now, because the sidebars vary from state to state, and you don't have my favorite section, State of the Art, featured in every state in here, my second favorite would be Local Favor. I'm giving this a fair but still great 4.5 out of 5 claps. If you want to start planning your American or Canadian road trip now, then pick up this book and get a good night's rest. Because as we all know, only the bed, only the rise, makes anybody healthy, wealthy, and thanks to this book, a lot more travel-wise. Now, to see another awesome review like this one, click here. If you want to become a Hollywood bargain hunter, click here to subscribe. Now, catch you on the thrift side.